What if a hacker joined your Minecraft game? What would you do? Do you think you could stop them in their insane hacks? Welcome to 100 Days as a Hacker, where my friends are gonna have to survive 100 days against me as a hacker. On day one, I spawned into the world. Hey! What are you, what are you doing over there? Uh, what, what do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Why, why'd you join our server with that hacker get up? We didn't give you the IP. Well, you two are in a video. It's 100 Days as a Hacker, and I'm a hacker. You have 100 days to survive against me. I know you didn't sign up for this video, but you're in it anyway. So, uh, no, no, we don't we don't want to do that. This is our anime server. Uh, leave our anime server alone. I don't think you realize you don't have a choice. Watch this. Ah! Oh, 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 get out of here. Ah! oh my god. You better run. Anyway, will they run? Let me just show you what I can do as a hacker. If I hit a special button, you're gonna see I have a skill menu that pops up that has tons of different hacker abilities like reach. Kill Aura, and Nuke. Yeah, I have some insanely strong powers. And I'm gonna be using these powers to murder my friends within 100 days. If they survive the full 100 days, I lose. But if I kill them before it ends, I win. So let 100 days as a hacker begin. Okay, so I'm gonna begin by playing survival because I actually don't have any powers right now. I honestly just set up a TNT there to explode when I joined. So let's just go ahead and let's get started. Now, as a hacker, my abilities are just like real Minecraft hacks, like a real hack client, meaning I'm gonna to be able to be a real hacker today. I've never actually used hacks in Minecraft, but these are gonna be fun, even if I have to unlock them. This looks like the perfect spot for a base. In fact, let's build our base right here. And stone pickaxe. Okay, let's get a little bit more wood, and let's go ahead and build the bottom of our base. Okay, the sun's definitely setting. Let's grab some more wood. Ooh, some sheep. Nice, now we have some food, and we actually have wool, so we can actually make a bed and just sleep. Let's just finish up these walls real fast. Okay, cool, and the base is ready. Now we're just gonna go and make a bed, and we'll wake up on day two. And good morning! So we're on day two. We have some raw food, and our hunger's starting to go down, so I think the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is quickly make some furnaces for our base, and then we're gonna work on just simply completing this base as fast as we possibly can. So let's quickly just get some more cobblestone. Okay, there we go, food is done, and now we have a full belly. Now let's go ahead and let's finish up these walls in the front, and then we're gonna go ahead and build a little walkway to the front door. Okay, let's get some cobblestone for the roof. Okay, there we go, cobblestone complete. Let's go throw it on the roof. Okay, cool, now we just need to go get some torches. There we go, now we have some torches. And just like that, our first hacker base is complete. Time for bed, good night. You wanna know something else a hacker can do? If I hit my bracket key, it's gonna activate an advertisement for the amazing game Soul Knight Prequel. Soul Knight Prequel is a free-to-play pixel RPG game. You can create your own customizable character, all with custom abilities. You can choose from tons of different classes and combine abilities, making combat in this game extremely unique. Make sure you click the link in the description down below to pre-register for the closed beta, because on May 16th, the closed beta begins and only those who pre-register are gonna be able to play. There are limited slots, so you gotta sign up soon. And don't you worry, I'm gonna tell you how to sign up right now. All you gotta do is head on over to TapTap. TapTap is a mobile games discovery platform where you can find tons of unique games just like Soul Knight Prequel. I highly recommend heading over to TapTap and signing up for the Soul Knight Prequel closed beta because slots are really limited. So click the link in the description down below or scan the QR code right over there to sign up for the Soul Knight closed beta. Only available through TapTap. Tap. I also highly recommend you sign up if you want to add me on Soul Knight Prequel when it comes out. I want friends. Okay, bye. Okay, hello on day number three. Okay, it's day three. The base is done. I think it is time to start working on some hacker skills. Now, let's look at some of the ones we can get. The first one we can get for combat is reach, but that's going to require a lot of stuff, including a diamond and some emeralds. The first utility ability is block placement range, and for 100 glass and one diamond, I can place blocks apparently 10 blocks away. That would be really cool. And the final first one is lightning. It only requires 128 redstone. That's really easy to get, and I can definitely do that today. Let's melt the iron we have real fast. Cool, now we have an iron pickaxe and can mine some redstone. Let's also make a shield. Okay, let's go get some redstone so we can unlock the lightning hack. And some redstone. Okay, let's keep looking for redstone. And we're done. Okay, we can officially unlock our first hacker ability. We go into fun and then we click lightning. We now have the lightning ability. So where we're looking, it should bond lightning. Now I have a shader pack on, so we won't actually see the lightning. So I'm gonna quickly take it off. Man, the game looks so much more Bruh. boring without shaders on. Anyway, let's test this out. 
me. Now I have to wait 60 seconds because it has a cooldown. Once the cooldown's complete, let's go try it on a mob. My... And now I should get cooked food. Yes! I can use this as a destructive power on someone's base. So I think it's time to have a little fun and try out our new hacking power by finding my friend's base and paying them a visit. After unlocking the lightning ability, it was time to test it out on my friends. All I had to do was find them. However, that turned out to be a little tricky. I don't have any hacks yet that show me where players are. So instead, I looked around for three days and I finally found their base. Okay, they just appeared on my mini map. Finally, I found them. They're up here. It is time for my hack powers to prevail. I'm going to use lightning on them. Oh, I can see it. it. It's literally all wood. I can burn this thing down. You got one on the roof. Let's just smite their base real quick. Ready? Oh, I smited the ground in front of me. They heard that though. They definitely heard the lightning. Well, hey, did you hear that? It did. It's not even raining. Okay, in case it doesn't burn down their base, let me just quickly make a flint and steel. It looks like they have pigs, actually. <gasps> if I smite the pigs, they'll turn into zombie pigs. Oh my god, I'm gonna smite their pigs. Aim right there, and look at them all. They're all zombie pigs. Good pickies. I'm so glad this, we got these pigs, Luke. They give me so much joy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at them all! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go light the base on fire. Ready? We're going in. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, the hacker! Oh my god, he's burning our stuff! No! Are you kidding? Okay, and we're gone. I set the base on fire. Bye! The other base is burning down. Look at it. Burn to the ground, base. Burn! Okay, well, I'm gonna go back because lightning takes way too long to recharge and I can't really battle with it. And they have way better stuff than I do. So we're gonna retreat for now and just accept that we had a lot of fun doing that. Now let's get serious and get another hacker ability. I spent day nine walking back to my base. And when I got there, it was already night. So, uh, good night. So the lightning ability is cool and all. But with the cooldown, it's way too weak. So I need to start working on my next hack. The next hack I want to work on is called Block Placement Range, which is going to increase my block placement range by 10. Meaning if I wanted to place TNT on their base from here, I could do it. To get that, we need 100 glass and one diamond. So let's get started on the glass. First things first, let's make ourselves a shovel. We have the 100 sand that we're going to need for the glass. So now let's go throw that in a furnace and get that smelted up. I don't think that's going to be enough coal. So while that's smelting, let's quickly go grab some more. And the glass is done. It's already night outside, so let's go to bed. Then we'll work on the diamond tomorrow. Okay, it is day 11. We got to go get ourselves a diamond down in the mine. And once we do that, we will be able to unlock our next hack. I don't see any diamonds down there. Ooh, that's some diamonds up there, though. And there we go, we got the diamond. That's perfect. That's all we need to unlock our second ability, block placement range. New hack unlocked. Let's go try it out. Okay, so I should be able to place blocks super far. So, oh my God, look at that, I'm placing blocks over there. Look at that, that is such a cool hack. However, this isn't really gonna help me much in combat. This really just helps me place things far away. Let's say as an example, they're behind me and I wanna slow them down, I can quickly build a tower. There are some good uses to this, but it's not that wrong of a hack. It's more of a useful hack. Kind of like x-ray. So before we go and attack my friends again, we need a strong hack, which means it's now time to work on the first combat hack, Reach, which is gonna, which is gonna allow me to hit my friends from three blocks farther away. And to get it, I need 64 iron ingots, 64 coal, two emeralds, and one diamond. Now this is gonna be pretty difficult. I can likely get the coal and iron done in a day, and the diamond will take another day or so. Could be pretty easy. I mean, I found a diamond in the morning. But the hard part's gonna be the two emeralds, because the only two options I have is either going to a village or mining it in a mountain bio but we're not gonna worry about for the second we're gonna start by getting the iron and coal then work on the diamond and then get the emerald on days 12 and 13 i mined up all the coal iron and diamonds i needed for the upgrade however the hard part was getting the two emeralds that i needed with emeralds being even rarer than diamonds to mine i went ahead and started looking for a village to trade for them instead finally a village finally we found one of these okay let's go find a villager and let's see if we can trade what do i need to trade you for emeralds that's super easy 10 clay balls i can easily get that done you it was you right thank you and now i got two emeralds now let's quickly check out this dungeon before heading back to the base and unlocking our next hack oh my god i found a god apple oh we gotta be careful though let's just get out of here i think that is a win we got a god apple right on the way out okay now let's head on back home okay we're back let's quickly just sleep and then we'll do the upgrade in the morning good morning on day 17 let's do that upgrade okay there we go grab the stuff everything's in green let's finally unlock reach Boom, we got the level up text in chat, which means we now have the reach hack, meaning I can hit things from further away as well. Let's go ahead, let's try that out. See this turtle? Look how far I can hit that turtle from. Oh my God, see that zombie? I'm whacking this zombie from all the way over there. 
and I can crit from the distance. That is so broken. Okay, I am definitely strong enough to take them on now with my new hacker abilities. So with these three abilities together, I'm gonna start making my way to my friend's base. It's time to teach them another lesson. Okay, we're getting really close to their base. I literally can see their names. Oh, see all their chickens? I'm gonna kill all their chickens. I missed, I missed the chickens. We're going in, watch this. Oh, okay. Oh God, oh my God. He's here. Okay, he's here. Oh, 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 that did a lot of damage. I gotta get close. Look at it, he can't even get near me. He, he broke our chicken. Wait, what? How'd he break it from that far? All right, that's it. I'm gonna teach this guy a lesson. He moved up on you. Yeah, well, oh my God, what? I can't even reach him. That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let's get a little closer to the base. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh no, what? They killed me, dude. They killed me. Now, luckily, I'm the hunter, so I have infinite lives. Only the hunted have one life. So it doesn't matter that I died there. However, that's really annoying. I thought with my three hacker abilities, they wouldn't stand a chance and I would actually kill them off already. But it seems to me like that's not gonna happen. I focused way too much on trying to get such cool hack powers that I forgot to do the basics of Minecraft and get myself armor and other things like that. So I need to go back to the basics and get some of that work done and then I can upgrade my hacks further. I spent days 18 and 19 gathering up all the basic necessities I was gonna need for another attack. Full iron armor, check. Diamond sword and axe, check. Water bucket, check. Now that I have the essentials, I should have a much easier time taking out my friends. Okay, it is day 20, which means it's time to start working on another hack. We got the essentials done, it's hack time. So we can obviously go for a combat or a utility, but I wanna do a fun hack. It may not kill them, but it's gonna be fun. So let's go ahead, let's look. So next is levitate. Now what, levita what the levitate hack does is if I shoot it at someone, it's gonna make them float up and then drop them. So let's go give it a shot, shall we? Let's first unlock levitate and then we're gonna go test it on my friends. So to get levitate, we need 128 feathers and 128 chickens. Getting the chicken shouldn't be too hard. Cue the chicken killing music. Enemy spotted. I don't even have to move. And done. Perfect. Okay, now we can go ahead and do the upgrade and get the levitate power. Bada bing, bada boom. Levitate unlocked. Now let's go try it on some mobs real quick. And then we're gonna go try it on our friends tomorrow and see how that goes. Okay, let's go. Let's go find a mob to try this out on. Something that can't fly like a turtle. I feel like I've been harassing turtles a lot this game, but uh, that's fine. Okay, turtle, you ready to float? Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Off he goes. <laughs> yes, fly. Oh, oh oops. Uh, you, you didn't see anything. Okay, and now time for bed. And then we're going to go harass our friends tomorrow with levitate. Okay, good morning. It is day 22 and it is time to go. I was trying to think of a cool rhyme there. Uh, levitate my friends. Okay, okay. Their base is just behind me. And luckily for me, they can't see me on their mini map. I know I shouldn't be seen. Now I can see them on my mini map and it shows that they're in the wall part of their base. Now I see this up here, but I don't think I have to worry about that too much. It seems like they're mostly inside the wall. So we're going to sneak up right outside the wall. And then we're going to try and troll one of them by making them levitate and see if they know Notice it's me. Okay, so we're getting close. I can see Permore's name above his head over there. We're gonna try and levitate him. I have to hit numpad two. Okay, here we go. Ready? Dude, look, he's floating. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> he has no idea. That would be cool if like, wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, yo, Luke, uh, I'm floating. <gasps> oh, <laughs> you messed up, hacker. Yo, uh, Luke, I think we're under attack. Pigs get smited. Whoop. I'm in a fake wall right now. Oh, oh, he sees me. Okay, we're good for right now. Oh, they're both above. Okay, I can make one of them levitate him in here. Oh, I've reached. I, can, I, I might be able to reach him. Yeah, you can't hide for that much longer, hacker. Yeah, what? You gotta hide behind that thing? Oh! Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I can reach him. Oh, if I can knock him off that tower. We're climbing. We're climbing. We're climbing. Ooh, they got me low. They got me low. We're gonna levitate him more. He's on top. I got an idea. I got an idea. He's running though, he's running. Oh, he's running far. Let's chase him, let's go. No! Chasing you. Dude, he's, he's chasing me towards my bridge. Oh no! Oh, 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 I'll use water to stop him. Let's just chase him. Keep going, keep going, keep going. He's putting water down. That doesn't even make a difference. Whack! <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> yeah, that'll get him. He ran right yeah, that'll stop him. <laughs> no, it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. I see what he did. That ain't gonna work on me, chief. They have an underwater tunnel? A secret underwater tunnel, I hope. Oh, he's drowning. Okay, I'm out of here. I don't want to drown. He, he, he's probably building an air pocket for him. Oh, unicorn's right here. Unicorn's running. He's running. Doesn't matter if he runs. Do they think that's going to stop me? I have block placement range. 
Oh yeah, see other pigs? Another zombie pig. Okay, if I can get rid of the roof of that tower, I can make them load into the sky. Oh, he got me with that. Oh God, is he coming up? He's coming up the ladder. Uh-oh, okay. uh-oh. Okay, uh -oh. oh yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go. Wait, there's only one, there's only one cart. Yeah, sorry buddy. You good, Luke? Where'd they go? They went this way to the cart. They're not getting away. Get over here. They took boats off. Let's go. We're out of here. See ya. I can MLG bucket this though. There's water below. It doesn't matter. Oh, there's boats. I, I have an idea. No, they're definitely getting away. No, my attack failed. Levitate is not good enough of a power. It worked, but it wasn't good enough. You get away for now. For now. Okay, so levitate is only an okay ability. Well, yes, it's really good if I can hit it. If I miss, I still gotta wait the 60 second cooldown. So it's time to unlock a stronger hack. If we look at our hack menu, you'll notice this hack here called teleport. This is the one I want. I could have teleported right to the top of my friend's tower, levitated them, and then knocked them off. It would've been really funny. So if I wanna do that, I need to get teleport. And to get teleport, I first need to get x-ray and night vision. So that's where we're gonna start. So we need 32 diamonds and 64 gold this this is gonna be a pain and take a while but i gotta get it done if i want the x-ray hack anyway let's get mining okay this is taking a little bit longer than i thought i was hoping to have this done in a couple days but i think this is gonna take a little bit longer than that at this rate and it did take a lot longer it turned out that the gold was actually harder to find than the diamonds and it took till day 26 to get the last of the 64 gold that i needed okay more diamonds but i just can't find gold <gasps> a gold oh no, it's just one. It's not enough. Did this cave really not have any more gold in it? It's huge. <gasps> gold, please. Please be the last. Oh, it is the last one I need. Yes, there's two. Oh, well, I only need one more. Yes, but it's enough either way. Perfect. Okay, we got everything we need. Let's head back to the base and start smelting. Okay, the gold's in the furnace smelting. Now we should get to wait for it to finish. And then once it's done, we can unlock the x-ray upgrade. Okay, there we go. Gold is done. Now let's unlock the x-ray hack. Perfect, now we got it. Let's go outside. Okay, it's done. The sun appears to be setting. So since it's about to be nighttime, we'll wait for the sun to drop. Then we're gonna go to sleep. And then we'll wake up tomorrow to start working on our next hack, which is gonna be super overpowered teleport. And we need 32 under pearls and 10 wither skeleton skulls to do that. Yeah, we're gonna need nether portals. Okay, good night. Okay, we're on day 27. Let's do this. So the first step to unlocking the teleport hack is that we're gonna have to go to the nether. So the thing is with the next teleport hack is we're definitely gonna have to go to the nether to get both of these items. So we gotta get the nether portal made. Let's do it. Okay, I think this will work. I actually might be able to build this nether portal just down here. And water bucket. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I'm not... Okay, nether portal complete. Now we just got to light it. And there we go. We're in the nether. Now let's get going. And let's go see if we can find a bastion first or a fortress first. If I find the fortress first, I'm getting the wither skeleton skulls. And if I find the bastion first, I'm getting the ender pearl. Let's go. I don't see a fortress in close proximity. Let me check my map that's rendered. Doesn't look like there's any nearby. Okay, this way. Entity cramming. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I literally see one. Actually, there's a bastion right ahead. Oh, wow. There's a big boy one. Gold, tons of gold blocks. And this guy's going ham. Okay, well, we definitely want those gold blocks so we can trade them for ender pearls. We want to mine a hole to trap the piglins in. So let's get to work. We definitely don't have enough blocks right now to do that. So let's just quickly mine up some netherrack. Okay, that should be enough to get us over there. Okay, let's build up. Okay, let's mine their gold. They're going to get really mad. Let's actually set our trap over here. We're gonna try and lead them into this tunnel right here. Okay, we got the gold blocks. Now let's get down below and build a staircase up so they can come murder me. Oh, here they come. I gotta kill the brute. 100% gotta kill the brute. We're good. Come here. Yeah, you're in? Yeah, now you're in. Perfect, thank you. Let's go ahead and turn these into gold. And now let's just go trade with our two piglet friends that are already in there. There's a stack for you and a stack for you. Get to work. I think I should be safe in this tiny little box. Anyway, let's let them trade. Okay, the trades are done. We have ourselves, it looks like 22 ender pearls. We still need 10 more. So we gotta go mine some gold and then we're gonna go finish trading with our two friends here. I'll be right back, my beauties. So I did a little bit of mining, but it turns out the Bastion still had stuff hidden inside. Look at that. I got, look at all this stuff I'm getting. I got some more gold blocks, tons of gold. Let's see what, how many we get off the gold blocks we have before we go mining for some more. That gives us 34. Take that. Oh, oh thank goodness you wanted to trade. Ha, huh, I got three in there now. Okay, well, they do that. I'm going to quickly get some wood from that tree over there. Make a crafting table and turn all these nuggets into gold. How's the trading going, buddies? Oh, you're done already? Okay, well, let's give you some more and let's see how many ender pearls we got, shall we? Wait. There's definitely three of you in here. Where'd the other one go? What? Okay, we're all done trading. How many do we have now? 16 plus 12. That's 28. We need four more. Can you guys give me four more, please? Unless there's four in there. 
Dang it. Okay, we need more gold. Go mining. Okay, let's see if this is enough. We got just over a stack to give you guys. If that's not enough, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Stop! I'm watching trades here. Go away. You're still gonna keep shooting at me anyway, aren't you? You're dead. Oh, we got him. Wait, wait, did, you did it while I was fighting the guest. That's cheating. I needed to catch it on camera, you stupids. Are you kidding me? Now let's go find ourselves another fortress so we can quickly go get the wither skeleton skulls. Man, this is such a grind for this one. Okay, we're here. Nether Fortress. Let's do it. Okay, there's a Wither Skeleton there. We just need to collect 10 of their skulls and we'll be good to go. Let's keep grinding. We we gotta keep grinding away. Getting 10 Wither Skeleton skulls took way longer than I thought. I've done similar videos in the past and it never took this long before. Whatever. We got the Wither Skeleton skulls completed. <gasps> yes, that's the last one we needed. Right there. There we go. We have 10 Wither Skulls. We can do the upgrade. Yo, yo, yo. Let's try this out. Let's get away from these for a sec. Day 36 and we can finally get the teleport hacked. And now we've unlocked teleport. Let's try out teleport because I wanted to try it out because I haven't tried it yet. And let's teleport up to that tree. <laughs> and boom, you can see I made it up to the tree. And it has a very fast cooldown. So in a few seconds, I can teleport to, let's say, let's try this tree. Boom, you see now I'm on top of this tree over here. So teleport is gonna make me insanely OP. So now that we have all these amazing hacks, including teleport, it's time to go mess with my friends. So let's head back to their base and let's go see if we can kill them this time. Okay, my friend's base is just up ahead. Let's teleport nice and close. Okay, really close to the base. Now let's teleport up here We're on the tower. Let's break in. Okay, I don't know if they're, I don't think they're home right now. I want to try my new powers off them, on them, but I don't think they're here. Oh yeah, oh my God, look at all this stuff. A free enchanting table, yes please. Wait, did they move? I think they moved. They left, they straight up left. They up and, they up and yeeted out of here. Which means now, instead of getting to test out my cool new hacks like teleport, I have to go find them. I have no hacks that let me track any players. So I'm gonna have to do this the old fashioned way and start running around looking for them. It took me nearly three days to find my friend's new base. They move pretty far, which is gonna make it a pain to get them. Either way though, we found them, meaning it's time to try out our new hacks. Okay, I found it. It's literally right there. That is their base. I found the new one, finally. Let's teleport over there. Let's get onto this cliff face. Boom, I'm in. Oh, he sees me, he sees me. Oh, 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 oh. he was above us. Did I get him? Oh, I didn't get him. I'm gonna break his scaffolding. Don't let him get him, don't let him get him. Oh, I tried to break him down, but it doesn't matter, my friend. I can teleport up there. Ready? Whip. Oh, God, I see him. I see ah! him. Oh, he teleport. He can teleport now? Oh, didn't like that one, did you? I can teleport. You can't get him. What is that? Is he just going in circles around? Oh, my gosh. If I hit one of those levers, though, won't that stop him? I turned these three off. Okay, get a little closer. We want to make sure we can levitate him while he can't get away. Okay, here we go, ready? And four, he can't escape. He literally can't escape. Okay, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving. They're both on these minecarts. Let me stop this one. In fact, let's burn it, let's burn it, let's burn it. While we're fighting, let's burn it. Okay, let's keep going. He's trying to build back up. Oh, I'll let you build back up, buddy. That's not gonna work. Yeah, he broke that as I was going up. Oh God, oh no! He's trying Oh yeah, guess what? Oh, I tried to smite their sheep. Okay, I teleported. Oh, he would. I almost got him. I almost got him. Okay, watch this. If I break this glass, I can definitely get him. Did I get him? Oh, yeah, he's levitating, baby. Let's go. Ready? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. 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 We switched positions. Oh, that put us low. That put us low. Ooh, that was stupid. I got my shield in my front hand. Go this way. I have an idea. Let's get behind this block. Ooh, we're almost getting hit. Swap my shield back. And we're in. We're good. Oh, he hit me. We're alive. We're barely alive. Okay, we can teleport up to him. Ready? Boom. We're up on him. Yeah, phantoms. Ooh. This is getting tough. Okay, we're up to teleport far. Ready? And whoop. No! No! Dude, I thought it was doing so good, too. Okay, we lost that battle. It didn't go as I planned. So I guess we're just gonna go to sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, well, that definitely did not work. They literally had enchanted diamond armor. I was not really expecting that. Kind of caught me off guard. And to be honest, as cool and useful as teleport is, it's not really that strong. It's just kind of useful. So my friends have definitely been working really hard. So what I need right now is an actually strong hack. Something that's gonna do a little damage. And so I'm gonna get the knockback hack, which 
not only gives me permanent knockback two on anything, but it removes my ability to get knockback. So if I'm up on a tower, I don't have to be afraid of being shot down. It's not gonna happen. So what do I exactly need for the knockback hack? I need 128 gold ingots and 20 emeralds. Now this would be extremely difficult, but we're a hacker, so we have x-ray. So let me quickly take off this beautiful shader pack, because x-ray doesn't work with shader. Goodbye, beautiful water and ugly water. But x-ray is working, so there's some coal right there. That's some iron. Oh, that, that's probably some gold right there. Okay, let's turn x-ray off. And unfortunately for us, anyway, let's get down to the caves and let's start x-raying the items we need. I have full bright, which means this is all incredibly bright. Who needs torches when everything is full brightness all the time? Okay, there's some emeralds right in front of us. Let's just mine these bad boys. Look at that. And just like that, we got ourselves some emeralds. 14 more to go. There we go. 20 emeralds done. Now we just need to mine 128 gold. Okay, the gold is smelting. With x-ray, I was actually able to get all of this done in a single day. Now, let's unlock the knockback hack in the morning once uh, that's done. Good night. Okay, it's morning. Man, I really wish that would actually speed that along. That would be great. But we'll let that smelt for a second so that way we can uh, unlock the knockback hack. And done. There we go. Let's do the upgrade. Knockback hack unlocked. Let's go try it out. I'm sorry, turtles. You guys are just great test subjects. Oh, well, now you're in water. That's not... Oh, no, that definitely worked. Let's find something in the, like, on land. This cow will do. Yeah, I'm definitely punching things farther, and I can spam punch things, so I can just keep them away. Look at that. Fall down the waterfall. E goodbye, cow. Goodbye. So, yeah, knockback hack definitely works. But there is no way that it is strong enough to defeat my friends at the moment. While I spend all my time unlocking hacks, they're spending their time upgrading their stuff. So I have to work really hard to get another strong hack. And so we're gonna unlock player ESP. Cause it's super easy. 20 diamonds, 20 emeralds. I can do that in a single day, no problem. All because of X-Ray. Okay, we have the 20 diamonds and 20 emeralds we need, meaning we can do the next upgrade. Now all players are gonna be highlighted in this outline and I'm gonna be able to see them anywhere they go, but they can't see me. Next, we're gonna work on getting the hack that I really want more than anything else, which is the OP hack. Now the OP hack, I'm not gonna be able to get done in a day like the other ones. It's just, it's not possible. We need 32 obsidian, 20 diamonds, and a strength potion. The diamonds, easy, easy as pie. But the strength potion and obsidian, not so much. I'm gonna need to make an awkward potion, get some blaze powder. It's just a lot. So this is probably gonna take a few days, but let's get started. Okay, now that I'm done with all the mining and the boring stuff, I can turn my beautiful water back on. Look how beautiful it looks. Anyway, we got the diamonds, we got the obsidian. Now we gotta make that strength potion, which is a little bit more in depth. Looks like we're going back to the nether to get ourselves some blaze rods. Okay, I need a blaze rod. So let's go ahead. Oh! You got me. Oh, that water's not gonna work here, right? Okay, we got the blaze rod we needed. Now let's get another for the potion. Okay, we got the two blaze rods we need. Let's quickly retreat and make sure we have everything. Wait, nope, I need to get another ward. Okay, let's grab these. Let's get some, grab the soul sand. Ooh, a chest full of diamonds. Cool, I'll take that any day. And my flint and steel is about to break anyway. Okay, now that should be all the supplies we need. Let's go back to the overworld. Good morning, day 45. Let's craft this strength potion. Perfect, now we have an awkward potion. Now let's add a blaze powder and this should turn into a strength potion, which is the last thing we need to get the OP hack. And it's done, perfect. Now that we've got everything, Let's unlock the next hack. Now we have speed five, jump five. Look at this. And of course, strength five. So now we have strength five, knock back two. We are really OP. And also, uh, I did not know this. It gave me more hearts. Oh my God, I'm so strong. I'm gonna go ahead and make a full set of diamond armor. And then tomorrow, we are going to attack our friend's base again. Okay, hello on day 47. Looking much better, much stronger. And I kept these boots on because I like the soul speed because I can do something with the soul sand. I know I don't have a lot right now, but it'll work. It is time to attack our friend's base once again. So I'm bringing a few items along, a lava bucket and a water bucket for obvious reasons, obsidian to put in their base, my swords and stuff, and the new addition to the group, which I definitely need, a power one bow. So with our new hacks and supplies, 
Let's go have some fun at our friend's base, and let's seriously try to kill them this time. Okay, we're here. We are back at their base. It is sun setting, but we made it in time. They're both on the right side, so we're gonna go up the left side. They're enchanting right now. Okay, they just got an enchanter badge. I'm gonna go in the main base and block all their items off before anything. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, their base is covered. This is gonna be so annoying to clean up. What's that say? Please don't grief. Oh, I'm totally griefing it. Okay, let this burn to the ground. Okay, let me follow them real quick. Go, minecart, go. It looks like they followed the rail. Okay, you're mine. Wait, what? What did that just do? Oh, what's the point of that? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, we're burning. We're burning, we're burning. We can get out of this. Oh, that may not have worked. Oh, it kind of worked. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No, please. <laughs> okay, well, that failed. Um, They led me into a trap, which failed because I lived, but then I got stuck in my own survival and... Okay, whatever. Whatever, that's fine. It's night anyway. Let's go to bed. It's time to start getting some of the really ridiculous, overpowered, super strong hacks. I'm talking about my any aura. I'm talking about swap, which literally lets me swap with players. And then most fun of all, nuke. I am going to nuke the absolute heck out of their base. You have no idea. In fact, I'm not going to kill them till I can nuke their base. So let's go ahead and pick a hack that we want to work towards. I want to get swap first so I can swap with players and make them die. But to do that, I need to get the negative effect aura, which gives slowness and nausea to nearby players. And to do that, I need 25 wither skulls. So yeah, this is going to be one heck of a grind, but we can do it. So let's get to work. Time to die. I need your heads. Dang it. Dang it. It took me nine days to get the 25 wither skeleton skulls that I needed. I killed over 700 wither skeletons to get them. I had my editors count it, trust me. But we finally got it done and could now unlock the negative effect aura. We finally have enough wither skeleton skulls to unlock the negative effect aura. This is finally done and it's not even the one I really wanted, but we got it. So now when we get near people, apparently they're going to get nauseous. Anyway, next on the list is swap. And you better believe it's another grind. 250 ender pearls. Yeah, that's that's actually a real lot. I could kill a few birds with one stone. Since I need to go to the end, get the dragon egg and elytra, I could go there with a looting sword and just massacre a bunch of endermen to do it. Or I could trade for it. But I feel like trading is going to take literally forever. So the hunting method, probably our best shot. But first, we need a looting sword. So that's what we're going to be doing today is getting a looting sword so we can start getting the ender pearls. There's two tricks you can do. You can either make books and enchant them or make wooden swords and enchant them. I'm going to do the wooden sword route. It's a bit easier. Okay, I just deforested the entire forest. Perfect. Now let's make an absolute boatload of wooden swords. First, let's turn a stack of these straight into sticks. Okay, that should definitely be enough wooden swords. Let's start enchanting. Looting. No. Looting. Whoa, we got it already? This normally takes forever. I just deforested that forest for nothing. Today, we will be oh, great. Oh, I feel terrible. There we go. Looting one. We did it. Now we're going to get all the ender pearls we need. Yay. Okay, it's day 59, and we got to go to the end because we need a bunch of stuff from there between the egg, the ender pearls, and the elytra going to the end's a must. So let's go. Okay, then we'll make our way down here. Now, I know the nether's not the end, but you can't go to the end without going through the nether first. Let's go ahead. Let's make our way back over to where we can get our blaze rods and ender pearls since the fortress and bastion are near each other. Okay, we're back at the bastion. Uh, let's go do some trading. Also, is this blood or fruit punch? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go up here and build an area where we can trade with these guys. Sir, what are you doing? Ow. Hey, take that. No! What? I forgot I'm strong. I killed him. Okay, I'm coming in. Any ender pearls? Oh, 13! I don't think that's enough, but because I don't want to mine for gold, I'm not really going to worry about it. I'm going to hope it's enough, and we'll just kind of go from here. If it's not, well, I'm just hurting myself. Oh, we dropped two! We're getting so many because the looting sword. You know, it feels like a million blazes spawn when I don't need them, and then when I do need blazes, no blazes spawn. Okay, that gives us eight. We need ten, though. Two more. Okay, that gives us enough blaze rods. Ow! Let's get out of here, for real. Welcome to day 60, where we now have the materials to start heading to the actual end. Let's throw the first one. Please don't break. If you break, I'm definitely in trouble. Oh, God, I threw two. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, they're both okay. I like to go 1,500 blocks before I throw my next Eye of Ender. So we're going to go 1,500 blocks in this direction, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we've gone basically 1,500 blocks, so I can test this again. It's still going this way, so we're going more than 1,500 blocks. Okay, we're about another 1,000 or so blocks, so let's throw another one. Okay, the direction actually kind of changed there. Yeah, it did change directions. It's below us. It's literally right below us right now. 
No, we can't use any more. We're digging right here. I have no idea if it's here, but it's close. It's really close. Okay, we've made it to the main room. Now we just need to find our way to the portal, which the best trick to do is just to look down these hallways and see if it leads to a portal room. Ooh, this is promising. This is promising. I see lava on the mini map ahead. Yes, it is it. And we still got all 12. We can do this. Break this. Yes, we are going to the end with our hacks, of course. So let's go. Okay, there's our dragon friend. Let's go pay him a visit. I might be able to just whack these things. Let's try. Let's build out a little bit. Yes, okay, I can destroy them from distance. Okay, let's pick our next target. We're gonna go to this one. While you're stuck in the center, I'll give you a whack. Oh my God, I can, oh, <laughs> I do so much damage to him. Okay, another one down. Let's go get the ones without cages first. You know what I just realized? I don't even have to be water bucketing to these things. I can just teleport. See? That was way easier. There we go. And they're all broken. Let's kill this dragon. Bye-bye. And the dragon is defeated. So we have our first item that we need. We need ourselves this here dragon egg. Bada bing, bada boom. We got ourselves a dragon egg. Okay, that's one of our upgrade items complete. We still need two more. We need both the 250 ender pearls and the elytra. And first, we're going to go for the elytra. Booyah, we found one. Let's go. Hello, uh... One that is definitely not gonna have elytra, but that's fine. We'll quickly loot you anyway. Oh, thanks for the boost guys Now I'm at your chests. Oh, actually these chests are kind of lame. Oh, this one's not okay Anyway, I'm gonna uh, start making my way upstairs. Thanks for the fun shulkers. Yeah, I appreciate it I'm out of here. Bye. Let's look for another end city It took till day 65 to find an end city that had an elytra ship, but I'm not gonna complain I'm just happy that I found one. Oh, we found one. I see an end city Let's go. We got the elytra. Boom. Second step done. Okay, I got the elytra on. We are just gonna get out of here after this. Because now we gotta grind ender pearls anyway. We need 250 ender pearls. And luckily, we're in the perfect place to grind ender pearls. So before we leave the end, we're gonna just set up a quick a quick ender pearl farm, fight for some ender pearls, and go from there. It took me three days of killing endermen to get the 250 pearls that I needed. Once I finished that, I made my way back to my base where I could finally start getting some of the strongest hacks in the game. Okay, and we are back from our crazy end trip and we have all the supplies currently still sitting in our inventory that we were able to get. We have the dragon egg, all the ender pearls we needed, and the elytra, which are slightly used, but it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and let's look at what we can actually unlock. We can unlock swap for 250 ender pearls, which is the first one we're gonna unlock. And now we have the swap button. Anything I'm looking at will swap places with me. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. If I build a tower straight in the air and then I swap with him, you'll see that me and the turtle have now swapped places and he finds himself on the tower and I don't. So for now, we're gonna store our elytra and dragon egg up here because we don't need them right now. Okay, so with the swap hack unlocked, I think we could definitely have a little fun trolling our friends because swapping them is gonna be basically like death swap where I can, I can do a lot to them. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing a lot to them. Okay, we're finally at the base in the player ESP. Look, I can see them through the wall. So I can see where they are and they can't see me. So I can use this to sneak up, build a tower and then swap with one of them. If I can get a swap off and kill one of them right off the bat, that would be huge. My antler's giving me plus two more knockback on top of my uh. knockback two netherite sword. Oh, well the hacker has no knockback at all. Oh, you mean I invested in knockback stuff for nothing? Yeah. Mm. If we go up to their tower there and swap with them, that could be huge. Teleport? Nice. They see me? I don't think they saw me. Nice. I got up here. Nice. Let's go, dude. Okay. Now we just need to tower up when they look away and swap. Ready? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. What's going on? They teleported up top. He punched oh, me down. Oh, I thought the hacker's here. Oh, I whacked him off. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> oh, he didn't even see it coming. We gotta be, be quick about this. I can't mess this up. Okay, here we go. If we can get the swap off here, this is gonna work great. So here we go. Ready? We put the lava here, and then we're gonna swap. Let me just tower it real quick. And here we go. And let's swap with him. Put it on him. And it swapped. Please love him. Please love him. Yes, yes. Oh, he didn't even notice. What's up, hacker? Wait, what? Oh, look out. Look out, look out, jump, 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 oh jump, jump. God. Oh, he lived that. What? Oh, I even swapped and lobbed him. No, I thought he was going to die to that. Okay, okay, hold on. Where's my obsidian? We will fill their chest room with obsidian again. Oh my God. No, he's obsidian our front entrance again. Are you kidding? <laughs> One and teleport. No, no. Oh, we're alive. Okay, this way. Oh no! Oh! 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 What a shot! 
What a oh, shot. Oh, oh, good job, Lou. Okay, I'm home. It didn't work, clearly. I'm going to bed. We'll talk about it in the morning. Okay, I am sick and tired of dying to them when I'm the person who has the cheats and hacks. We need to change up our strategy quite a bit. You see, if I'm going to take down people with enchanted netherite, I'm going to need kill aura. I'm going to need fly. And I'm going to need new. They're the last three that I require to really take down my friends. But on top of that, there is one other thing a hacker can do to really make sure that he's the strongest he can be. And that's hack the server, get into the console, and spawn myself armor that only a hacker can obtain. Legendary hacker armor. Now look at what I look like. Literally, my, my armor is hacking. And this armor is insanely strong too. Look at this. So yeah, if my friends want to kill me, it's going to be insanely difficult. Okay, good morning on day 72. We actually have this shader pack back on so everything looks pretty again. And now it is time with our hacker armor to start unlocking the next few hacks. Let's unlock infinite saturation as it's the last fourth tier hack that we need to unlock. And it only requires 128 of each of those types of me. So let's get working. <laughs> I spent the next three days just murdering animals till I had enough food for the infinite saturation hack, which took way longer than I thought, but it is what it is. Okay, the last of the food is done smelting and we can finally do the upgrade. We have everything we need to finally get it. Let's go in and unlock infinite saturation. So now it's basically like we're in peaceful mode 24 seven. Our hunger can't go down, which means our health is always going up. It works perfectly. Okay, so with the hacker armor and infinite saturation, we're basically invincible. It doesn't matter what we do. I could literally just let mobs attack me. So let me go down here and give you an example of what I mean. So even if I leap off this cliff, take a ton of damage, I'm not even afraid of it, because look, it's just gonna immediately heal back up. Oh, there's a zombie and a spike. Okay, you come here. See, he's attacking me. I don't see any damage being done to you. Oh, wow. Oh, it hurts so bad. You get the point. I'm basically invincible at this point. Okay, so let's head back up. It looks like the sun is starting to set. So with the sun starting to set over that way, that means tomorrow it is time to try out our infinite saturation and armor on my friends. I don't think they'll be able to kill me, but I need to test it just to make sure before I get my final few hacks. Okay, we're getting close to their base again. Let's go try out our new hacker armor and see how it does against them. With the infinite saturation and hacker armor, I don't even have to worry about food. I don't even need to carry. In fact, yeet, I don't need you anymore. Oh God. Oh, he's coming up the mountain. Yeah, oh, yeah, I see I his see name. Him. I see him. Okay, there's one up here. Oh, he's coming to me, he's coming to me, he's coming to me. And nope. That doesn't work on me, buddy. I can keep healing all day, dude. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, he put me on fire. Okay, I'm going to eat this golden apple. They're actually putting me down pretty low. They put me down half. They got... That's more than I thought they'd get. Oh, what's that? A god apple. Oh, you can't hurt me anymore. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Set me on fire. Do it. Oh, my God. Would you go away? Yes. No, he's not dead yet. Are you serious? Oh. I'm on two arts. I'm literally on two arts. He's low. He's low. I'll, I'll help he's you. Low. He's low. He's low. He's low. He's low. He's low. Come on. I can't see anything. Burn! God, the fire's annoying. I can't see anything. I'm killing their donkey. That's right. The Christmas donkey died, baby. He's killing our donkeys. No, our donkeys. You guys can't do anything to me with this armor on. Oh, it's clock. Why is there a clock in there? Ah, no. I don't want to open the clock. No! No, the clock got me killed. I opened a chest and then I got killed by a clock. I tried to teleport. Oh, Let's go. We did oh. it. We did it. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whatever. We're going back to bed. Our armor's almost broken. Let me go back in. Okay. Let me go into the console and quickly spawn myself refreshed armor. There we go. Nice and refreshed. But, yeah, they kind of kicked my butt there. I tried to teleport and open a chest, and they killed me with a sword called Hacker Be Gone, which is apparently sharpness. A sharpness for netherite sword. So, yeah, that didn't work, but it doesn't matter. Let's go back inside. Let's go to sleep. We'll wake up tomorrow, finish up the hack upgrades, and then there's no way they can stop me. It is day 77, and if I'm going to finish this thing before day 100, I'm going to have to unlock my strongest hacks. We still have three hacks left to unlock we have kill aura fly and new now luckily for me i have the hardest ingredient i need for kill aura and for fly and so for the two of those i just need 64 diamonds and 64 emeralds each which isn't hard at all that's actually pretty easy to do because i'm a cheater and i have x-ray so we're gonna turn on x-ray go mining for a while get all the diamonds we need all the emeralds we need and then we can unlock fly and kill aura and then after that we'll work on new We're back. 
back at the base, meaning we can do the, the next few upgrades. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, I might as well do them outside where it's a little bit brighter. So let's do it right here. Now I go into the hacker menu and I unlock Kill Aura. Then I unlock Fly. And now I can fly around just like I'm in creative mode. And Kill Aura, which we just unlocked, only works on players, so I can't really showcase it against mobs. So just trust me, it works. Okay, so with those two out of the way, there is only one more hack to unlock, and it is my favorite hack of all time. The new cat. And to get it, we need 128 TNT and one nether star, which honestly, as a hacker in its current state, is not hard at all to do. Fighting a wither is gonna be a piece of cake, and getting the TNT is also gonna be a piece of cake. So let's quickly just make our way to the nether, get the wither skulls we need to summon the wither, and then we'll come back here and fight it. Okay, let's kill some wither skeletons, shall we? I can just fly around and find them and whack them. Look, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Dead. Oh, we got the fir first one. We finally got our first wither skeleton skull. There we go. Finally, we got a second one. Oh, I got it. I just picked it up. I literally was just talking about how I needed to find the last one. and It was there. Oh, that's perfect. We have three now. Okay, now we can go fight the wither. Okay, it's currently nighttime. I could fast forward the day, but I really want to get this wither taken care of. So let's quickly just do this as I don't think it should be too difficult to kill off the wither. We just need to find a good place for it. So let's just go over here real quick. There we go. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Okay, no, we, we, we can fly. We don't want to back up. I can beat this thing easily. Let's go, dude. You're so weak. Okay, Wither's dead. Let's get his Wither Star. It should fall down here. We got it. Yes. Okay, let's head back. Let's go to bed now that he's dead. Okay, good morning on eight, the 83rd day. We we have the Wither Star, which means the only thing left to unlock Nuke is 128 TNT, which means we need a lot of sand and a lot of gunpowder. I have no idea how long this is going to take, so uh, a cue the whacking. Okay, I officially have all the sand we need just as the sun's starting to set, so we'll go to bed. Then we're gonna go kill a bunch of creepers. Okay, and good morning on day 84. We gotta get a bunch of gunpowder. I need 640 gunpowder, which uh, I don't even know if I can do that in a day, but we're gonna find out. I got the looting sword, which is gonna help a little bit. So let's just head to the caves for now, go kill a bunch of creepers there, then we'll head up to the surface at night to go kill some more and see how many we have at the end of the day. And then we'll see if we still have to keep killing them. Okay, you're dead. I think I have everything we need for the gunpowder and the sand. So if we grab all the sand and gunpowder, we should be able to make the amount of TNT we need, I think. Well, let's try it. I believe the recipe is this, and that gives us 64. And how much did we need? 128. Wait, did I go overboard? No, I got an extra, like, two stacks of gunpowder for nothing. Okay, well, we got the two stacks of TNT, though. Oh, it's about to be night. So let's unlock Nuke. Let's try this out. The final hack we can unlock is finally about to be unlocked. We now have nuke which of course we gotta go test out so let's quickly head to spawn and try it out on my friend's spawn base okay they have an anime rules sign right here let's go ahead and let's nuke it right here so we're gonna go ahead and hit our nuke button which is numpad six and it should have just nuked that i think okay so i just tested it it definitely works but i can't figure out exactly how it works yet it blew up here but did all this damage here so we're gonna figure it out there we go and now we're gonna go ahead and use nuke on top of this and see if it makes a difference okay oh i see it now Okay, well, that was not what I expected to happen. Luckily, it doesn't matter if I die. But oh my god, that nuke was insane. It spawned like a yellow TNT that then was... I was far away from that, and it still killed me. Okay, well, that works. Uh, let's go to bed, and let's wake up tomorrow. Okay, so it is day 86. We are down to the final 15 days that we can kill my friends. So I gotta really start taking this seriously. I can fly, I have every hack unlocked, and I'm gonna go try and kill them. If I can't kill them this time, I'm gonna be really worried. But I think I should be able to with all my new powers. So let's start flying to their base, which we can get to a little bit quicker. We're still probably not gonna get there till about nighttime. So let me actually go grab my bed and so we can sleep, make it day, fight them on day 87, and hopefully finish them off. And boom, day 87, the day that I'm finally gonna kill these two, I hope. We got our kill aura on, we have nuke ready to go. This is gonna be so OP. They're not even gonna know what's gonna hit them. And, and the fact that I can fly, they don't even know I can fly. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he sees me. Jose, he's flying. What? He's flying. What do you mean? He's flying Where? above, ab what? like above, above us. Goodbye. No, he lived. Okay, cool. It's okay. I didn't want him to die from that anyway. What are you going to do? I can fly now. Look at this kill aura. I don't even have to look at him. It's too, uh, but I'm not doing any of this. I'm not even clicking. <laughs> you can't even get close, buddy. I got kill aura. Okay, ready? We're going to teleport right around him and whack him. Ready? And pull up the sword and uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that is spicy. Those have a lot of rockets in them, man. Oh, 
I can hit him through the wall. This is so OP. What are you going to do? I'm a, I'm a literal hacker, dude. You can't stop me. Yo, yo, bring him back to the base. I have an idea. Let's use uh, let's use our exit door. Okay, good idea, good idea. Okay, it looks like they've started to flee underground. Let's turn on player ESP so we can see these guys. Okay, well, if I can't player ESP, I can't figure out why it's not working. Oh, this seems like a trap. This totally seems like a trap if I go down here. Hey, there's nothing down here yet. Come here, come here, buddies. Oh, TNT, TNT, hold up. No, don't, I need to shield this. Okay, we shielded it. Look at them go. They're running for their lives. Let's go ahead. Let's swap places with one of them. And let's put one of them on a nice big tower. How's that sound? Like you. You go on a nice big tower and now get whacked off. And now let's kill Oreo to death. It's time for one of you to die. One down. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead, Jose. I'm dead. No. In fact, let's go ahead. Let's kill him with the nuke. I don't even need to worry about it. Ready? Watch. Doesn't even realize it. The nuke's there. Goodbye. I blew myself up with it, but he blew up too. It's up to you now, I guess, my guy. What? Oh, he put a nuke on you. <laughs> and we win because we're still here. And look at this. This is where he just got nuked. Get nuked. No. <laughs> you couldn't do anything. The nuke is so overpowered. Bro, you blew yourself up with it. I know, and I was like, oh, very far away too. The challenge is officially over. My friends failed to survive the full 100 days against a hacker. But since it's not day 100, and this is a 100 day video, luckily I'm a hacker. So uh, let me just go into the console and it's now day 100, just like that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.